Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to do this beautiful rose bush over the fence here. It's wonderful. It's in Ipswich and right on Meeting House Green. All right, do a little sketch, mostly of the fence. Uh, you can see that fence post is very important. It's uh, catching a lot of light and a lot of reflection off the um, roses, so it's very pink, except for the crown, which is which is very white. But anyway, uh, so just do a little sketch of that. The picket's an interesting uh, part of the thing, so you want to include that. Then just, you know, just there are a bunch of circles here that indicate the bushes. There's several bushes of roses uh, intertwined there, and you want to catch them, but you want to get an idea because you'll be picking out light on each of these bushes as, as we progress through the painting, okay? All right. There's a little grass on the bottom of the fence. There's a beautiful shadow under that uh, that's not in the video. All right, so we're doing the background first here. This is ultramarine and rose and a touch of raw sienna to gray it down. So it's not a bright blue, it's a nice shadow color. And uh, just drop a nice wash on it. And if you want, you can cut around some roses that are extended out over the bushes. Uh, or you could lift them out later as we're gonna do here. So. So once you put that wash on, drop another heavier wash. You can see this has a little more rose in it, so it's a little redder. And then even, even as that goes, put another one. So there's, don't bring those all the way down though. You want it darker, you want it much darker at the top and that will bring the viewer's eye down towards the roses as, as we progress. But give it a nice spray so it comes down evenly. And uh, then, Go in here with a small brush and cut around the edges of the roses. Let that shadow color come down inside the bush. And then go back with a towel and lift out some roses. Like, like I said, they're extended out over the big main bush up, in the, uh, up into that dark area, which is nice. So just pick out some uh, bunches, not so much singular roses, but a group, you know, two or three together. And then below that we have, uh, there's a little bit of a lawn in the background, so you can put that in it. You know, it's, it's just another gray. It's the gray with a little more raw sienna in it. So it's a warmer gray. And I'm bringing it all the way down to the street here. All the way down, just bring it in as a wash. Okay, beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna paint the fence now. Uh, it's mostly gray, the same gray practically as the street you got there, but I added a little more rose to it. So, it, cause it's picking up a lot of reflection from the roses. So we'll get that in and then across the top of the fence, you can really see the pickets. Not so much on the bottom, but on the top, so if you want to cut them in, you know, go across. Take your time and, you know, so there's light coming in between those pickets on the top. And then below, it's mostly in shadow, so I'm using, you know, the same gray, but a little more rose in it. I want that rose to reflect in everything as, as we go across there. So and you can cut in the suggestion of a couple of more pickets down there, but most of it's in shadow. And... All right, now we're going to cover all the roses with a rose. This is uh, a quinacridone rose. You can use permanent rose, uh, almost any rose, but this is uh, nice and bright. We just paint that whole shape. all the way down, leave a nice line of white across the top of the fence where those pickets are and cover it up. And then you can drop some more rows in there and randomly. But then you wanna go back in like this with the, with the towel again. We're gonna to use a lot of towel, <laughs> towel work here. Towel is a great tool. Uh, so we're lifting out 
basically individual roses or groups of roses, but where the light is hitting it so you can see it's beginning to define the bushes, those separate bushes. Not too much, but just enough. All right, then we go back in again, drop in some more rows after you uh, pick out those groups with your towel. And you can randomly drop it in here and there. Does, you, you want to, you don't want it to be all like a wash, but you want to have in, you know, separate individual sort of indications of, of the rows. And then there's going to be areas like this that's in the shadow uh, that is much, a much deeper rose uh, underneath. And, and you can go back. This, this is a lot of fun. You just go back, get some rose on your brush, and sort of randomly like a, you know, like a uh, orchestra leader here, just take the baton and, and twirl around those roses, but always going back in like this with your towel and picking out some light as it hits those roses. And really that's the whole thing here. You know, you, you're constantly putting it on and taking it off, putting it on, taking it off. And uh, then underneath here, it's in shadow, so it's much darker. There's areas in, in, the, in this bush that's it's much darker. And you can see I hit those ones that are floating out extended out over the bush and we'll join those we'll, we'll put some branches in there to join those to the bush all right much darker down here all right we're going to put in some windows a suggestion of windows in the background that's a building there's no sky showing here we don't want a sky because that would really uh, compete with the beautiful white you know rose bush so we just want to give indications of, uh, of windows on the wall back there. I know they look crooked. <laughs> it looks crooked, but it's not. It's just the, the slant of my board is making it look. So you just want to go across. I, I think I put, I'm putting three in here. But yeah, there's three windows and then there's a little bit of a lawn or, or something in the background. You can put Put a little raw sienna into that uh, violet when you do the lawn. All right, now we're mixing up some greens. You know, this is, uh, you could use, you can use aurelian, you can use any yellow you have. Mix it with, you know, uh, either a cobalt blue here or cobalt blue teal. You know, this is your brighter green. These, these are the brighter greens on the top of the bush. As we get to the bottom of the bush, they're more in shade, so you don't really, you know, you don't really uh, need the yellow more. It's it's much darker green, so you can use cobalt, but much more cobalt to it, or you can use raw sienna and ultramarine blue to mix your greens down there. And then uh, you're going back with some more rows and start to do more individual roses, groups of roses. You can see them starting to form now. And again, don't forget you have your, your towel to go back in, lifting out more and more light on the roses. All right, down below we have a, uh, a bush, a very green bush, but it's very dark. It's, uh, it's in the shade down there, so I'm putting it in and there's some leaves. Uh, you can't really see it, but these leaves that are out into the light have a much more yellow in them. They're much, much more green. So you can add some yellow to the dark color as it goes out to the street there. And unfortunately, there's a beautiful, I should say, fortunately, there's a beautiful shadow that's on the ground here, but unfortunately it got cut off in the video, so you won't be able to see me paint it, but it's just a, a blue-violet shadow that's on the street right under this bush, so you can just add that, and then it runs along the bottom of the fence. There it is, see it? Okay, that's the finished painting. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was fast, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you do a great job with this rosebush. It's a beautiful, beautiful painting.
Thank you so much.